As we all know, 2010 was one of the best seasons in the history of the sport, and it also saw many changes to the regulations. But why exactly did the new 2010 rules cause such an uproar, and almost cause the 2010 season to never happen? The only way to find out is in this video. We start off in the summer of 2008, where at the time FIA President Max Mosley came up with the rules for 2010 such as getting rid of refueling. But the most controversial part was the cost cap. Mosley proposed this due to the ongoing economic crisis in the entire world, as to try and save the sport financially. But initially already it was met with strong opposition, as Ferrari filed an injunction in a Paris court to stop these rules going through. But this went on to be rejected. But there was one reason really why Ferrari and the other teams were so angry about this cost cap proposal. Because essentially it created a two tier formula. For example if you used the cost cap and you abided by it you had greater technical freedom. But if you didn't abide by it you did not have that technical freedom. Essentially creating a two tier formula. And that's why the teams were so up in arms about it. And as tensions grew through 2009, eventually it came to a head in May of 2009. As teams such as Ferrari, BMW, Toyota, Renault, Braun, Red Bull and Toro Rosso announced that they were intending to pull out of F1 for 2010 in a protest against the rules for 2010. Then at Monaco, all of the teams announced their intention to pull out of the sport as the sport of Formula 1 was now headed into a crisis. Williams and Force Indy though would go back on that and sign up for 2010, as their only interest was racing. But during June 2009 many compromises were trying to be made, but all of them seemingly failed. And then the tension came to a head again in mid-June, as all of the F1 teams excluding Williams and Force India met at Renault's base in Enstone, and announced that they would be pressing on with a breakaway series. And in this argument, this became the breaking point, as Max Mosley then agreed to not stand again as FIA president, and to also attempt to raise the cost cap, as a bid to try and save F1. And thank God, it worked, as at the 2009 German Grand Prix, talks between the teams and the FIA progressed, despite more arguments over the new rules. But then at the 2009 Hungarian Grand Prix, this dispute over the 2010 rules effectively came to an end, as the teams agreed on the plan of the sport going forward, and a couple days later would sign the new Concord Agreement, except for two teams, as BMW and Toyota pulled out of F1 at the end of 2009. BMW cited developments in motorsport as their reason for leaving, so most likely the reason they pulled out was because of the way the sport was going. And Toyota pulled out due to the ongoing financial crisis around the world. But at least there was actually going to be a 2010 Formula 1 season. That would include three new teams. Lotus, Virgin and HRT. But these teams essentially were doomed from the very start. As the F1 they signed up for didn't happen as there was never really a cost cap that anyone abided by, meaning that teams like Lotus, Virgin and HRT could never compete, and all three of these teams ended up out of the spot by the end of 2016. Again, essentially because the F1 they signed up for didn't happen. It's a real shame it turned out the way it did, but you also have to remember how many people were trying to get on the grid for 2010, who again were trying to do it under the belief that there would be a cost cap, so it would be able to compete with the rest of the teams. But teams such as Pro Drive, USF1 and Stefan Grand Prix never made it to the grid, because financially they just couldn't do it. And also the cost cap F1 they thought they were signing up to did not happen. So there was no chance of these teams being a success even if they did make it onto the grid. The tide had turned against them from the very start. But again, thankfully, the 2010 season eventually did go ahead. Even though what happened in the summer of 2009 has had a knock-on effect until right now. If the cost cap had happened but they proposed it in a better way, and not created a two-tier formula, then F1 might be prospering right now. 
and it would be possible for midfield teams to compete with Ferrari, Mercedes, Red Bull. But because that didn't happen, it's not possible. And hopefully sometime in the future, some kind of cost cap can happen. Because I honestly, guys, do not see how the sport can continue in the way it's going. There is an extortionate amount of money being spent and it just cannot continue. Especially if F1 wants to sustain itself over the coming seasons. But for 2010, the rules and regulations were now set. But just who at the start of 2010 would get them right? The only way to find out is in part two. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys, I'll be back on Tuesday with my final season review of 2018. As well, don't forget to join my Discord server, link below in the description, also with my Twitter and my website. Comment down below what you thought of this video and what did you think of the cost cap rules coming in for 2010 and how it all failed. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time, it's been me, Chazzer HD. goodbye.